Well, look what just flew into the base. Ooh, if I could get... Oh, yeah. If I could get him to come in here. Oh, guess who's trapped? Guess who's trapped? Pretty bird. Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Ascend. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to do some building. Um, I thought I'd do a do a little bit of a building episode. Uh, we don't do a lot of that, but uh, we do some. And so I am in the process right now of getting a medium-sized elevator set up uh, for our barn. Um, so um, I was, you know, building, and I thought, you know what? Let's let's just show some of this on camera, so how, how I'm doing it and how it's coming together. Uh, so the barn itself, at least the main structure of the barn, is complete. Um, there's lots of room to expand, and I might even put like a larger farm or something on the top of it with a you know a nice little greenhouse. Not really out of necessity, but more just for aesthetic reasons. Uh, but as you can see, I've got a hatch at the top here. Uh, so if we need to you know bring critters in from up above, we can do that. Um, I I wanted to put the hatch. Um, lined up with the door here, but it, it didn't work geometrically speaking. So I had to move it over, um, you know, to to the side there, which is fine. Uh, you know, we got to work with what we have. And then I have this bridge across here and the medium platform, uh, elevator platform is about three tiles wide. And so I have put down a, a, a full ceiling and, and some quarter ceilings. You know just to try and gauge the position of that and then what we're going to do now is we're going to drop a wall down to line up a foundation down below all right so let's go ahead and oh i do have good news too chomp is now back to normal he's no longer a ghost um we we've done a couple server resets we're still trying to dial in you know imprinting settings in particular and uh, through uh, those server resets and also actually though there was also an update too so that might have done i don't know what did it but Nevertheless, Chomp is now back to normal, which is great. Um, okay, so anyway, what we want to do is we want to take these tall ceilings and hang them. Uh, oops, I just had it there a second ago. Right there. And and that just gives us our guide for, you know, how we're going to set the foundation down below. Um, this pillar here, I can probably remove that, I think. <laughs> I'm not really sure, actually. Uh, I'm afraid to take it down from here because if I do that, it might take the whole thing down because, or, or at least the middle part, because the middle part of the bridge is relying upon that pillar. So what I think I'm going to do is get the elevator in place first and then maybe see if we can take that down. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, um, let's go ahead now and grab uh, these metal foundations I just got from... Oh, shit. That's not going to snap, is it? Um, all right, we're going to have to eyeball this then, unfortunately. Out of, just out of drops. We just got these out of drops. So let's, uh, let's get into orbital camera mode. And we're going to need to turn it this way a bit. Uh, it's really kind of hard to see. Let's, I think it needs to move to the left just a smidge more. Let's see. So one way you can kind of tell is if you clip it through the other side to see if it's clipping evenly. So that so that me well actually here we need to also move it over this way too. Uh, but it's it's pretty damn close actually. We might need to move it to the left like one pixel. So just barely bump it. Okay. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty close. Okay, so let's back out. Um, well, actually, no, I think we want it to be almost clipped all the way through. That's probably where we want it. Okay. Oh, damn it. I hate it when it does that. You get it perfect, and then you click the first mouse button, and the, the freaking thing twists on you. Yeah, I. it's... Now I can't really tell for sure, so... Okay, let's just 
go with that, I guess. Yeah, I, I think that that's going to have to be close enough. Okay, so now what we're going to do is build this platform out. Um, we're going to need some more foundations and some ramps, too. So let's see. We're going to need one, two, three, four, five more metal foundations. I could... I could have used stone too, but like I said, I already had the metal foundation, so I figured out since the elevator itself is metal, let's go ahead and go with that. All right, so yeah, let's come over here. I uh, I don't remember if if I am if I had bred the thylos in the last episode or not, but I did, and this is their their offspring. Haven't named him yet. Uh, so he's our first imprinted, uh, fully imprinted uh, Thylo here. Haven't put any points into him yet or not. Uh, but what I want to do is when the mother is ready, she's over in the barn right now to mate. I want to mate with this guy because he's he's got better stats than his dad before I, I take, you know, before I take him out. So that way we, we get it. A baby. In other words, I want to make sure I have backups of the critters before we start using him for more dangerous things like caving, uh, which is definitely going to be uh, some of the next adventuring we're going to be doing here fairly soon once I have backups of my critters. Uh, same thing for the baryonyx. Um, I need to find another male baryonyx before we start using them for caves. Anyway, uh, let's see. Back to what we were doing here. So we need to make five more metal foundations. Uh, let's turn this on. And you know what? I don't think I actually have that learned. So let's learn that. Metal foundation. Um, uh, metal triangle foundation. I'm not going to learn that quite yet. Uh, but we do want the ramps. Okay, so Oh, we must we must make that in the smithy. We must make that in the smithy. I was thinking we had to make it in the fabricator. Yep, there we go. Okay, so we wanted five of these. And we're gonna need to make, you know, more tracks and stuff too, of course. These are just two that I already had. Um, let's make just two of these for the moment. And then for the tracks, I don't know exactly how many I'm going to need. Uh, looks like I need to learn that too. No, I've got that learned. Hmm, I must have had to learn this for some kind of prerequisite. I'm not sure what it, what it would have been. Elevator track. So, are you saying I have to make the track in here? That's weird. Oh, no. Never mind. No, that's not weird. That, that makes sense. Okay. I was, I was confusing the tracks with the foundations. Um, yeah, let's just make two for now, and then we'll figure out what we're going to be short on. It's going to be... Oh, electronics. Okay. Since we know that, um, let's make 100 electronics. Because we're going to need them for all kinds of other things, too. Hmm. No, that still appears to be touching. Oh, I should have made... Yeah, I guess I should have made three ramps, huh? Okay, well. We'll get the third one made later. Uh, we don't need ramps on... Really on these sides here. Okay, now... Um, we should be able to take this away. 
I'll have to get the other one uh, from the top. And then this snaps right there for us. Except for, do I have it going the right direction? Yes, I do. Okay, whoa. You scared me, Chomp. Chomp is so happy he's not a ghost anymore. Kind of hard to eat food when you're a ghost, in case you guys didn't know that. Okay, put that up there, that up there. It looks like they increased the, the height of these, which is great. All right, and then we'll put the platform right there. Oh, that's all the further down it goes, huh? Hmm. I mean, I, I, I can still walk up on it, so... Is there a way... I'm uh, just wondering if there was a way to snap that into the foundation instead of on top of it. Just so that comes down flush. It, it's not, it's not actually a problem though. Here, let's get on a, on a critter that I'm going to move up to the barn later. Um, like the bear, for example. Let's try the bear out. Okay, so if I just want to walk up here with the bear, I can do that. All right. Well, you know what? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna just call it good for now because it's functional. It looks a little jank, but we'll just have to pretend that uh, it comes down flush like it would in reality. Of course, if I did want to change it, now's the time, huh? Let's just let's just see what happens. Did it give me all the tracks? Yeah. Okay, so if we put this here and we disable snapping. Um, if okay, if I click it once. Try and get it lined up here a little bit better. Can I sink it down? Oh! Oh wow, look at that! You can... Uh, okay, you can sink it down. Alright. So... Okay, hold on. Let me... um. Let me reline this up here. Okay. That's pretty damn close right there. Now, let's raise it as high up as it will go, which is what it would normally be. But then we're going to drop it down till that kind of square piece is just flush with the top. Alright, let's see what that does. It seems like it's the same. Can we... Is this powered? It's unpowered. All right, so yeah, we're going to have to set up another generator for this, which we can do. Yeah, it looks like we can probably put it right there and it'll be out of the way. Is it, is it clipping through? Nope, that's good. <laughs> While we're up here... Let's also take this wall down. I'm going to leave this structure here at, l at least for a moment longer. We'll see. Yeah, let's just leave that in place for the moment. Look at that moon. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, so, if we, wait, how do we, elevate, it's not, why isn't it elevating? I guess the other thing it could be is that that pillar's in the way. Hmm, maybe that's what it is.
All right, we're gonna take a chance here. Let's uh, let's pick this back up for a second. Oh, those are roofs. Those aren't ramps. Okay, we're gonna pick this up and see what happens. Yeah, it screwed up our bridge. And getting the rest of those pillars off there is going to be fun. We could... We could put the pillar on the other side, but let's see. Does that make the elevator work now? There it goes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Oh, well, actually, you know what? Never mind. This is going to be really easy to do. <laughs> we have an elevator. Look at that. Okay, I'll have to figure out what to do about the bridge later. Um, I wonder if we could... If that was actually attached to something up at up at the top. I wonder if it could be considered a foundation support. I don't know. Okay, so um it kind of doesn't look like it's perfectly lined up. If we what if we use the elevator itself as the bridge? We'd have to put a switch in so we could call it, you know, control it from this side. If we don't do that, then we're going to need to move this out another block because I think it's, you know, this is going to block it from going up higher. And it looks like it does need to go out another quarter block. I didn't think that was the case. I thought that... Uh, we needed a, a, a tile and a half, but it looks like we need two tiles. But it's it's close enough to over here to where we could have, like I said, the elevator itself be the bridge. Okay, I'm going to give this some thought, and I'll bring you guys back when I come up with a solution. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I, I've gotten this far with the elevator but the problem is it won't it won't clip into these foundations to go all the way up so this this is actually snapped to to the platform um if i were to remove those foundations it might mess up my gate let's just see what happens okay so these yeah, let's get rid of that foundation okay good it looks like that's going to stay put and this one here um my guess is that the, yeah, this one probably too. I don't know about that one. Let's assume it's going to need to be removed too. And then likewise on this side probably. Uh, that's actually just a square foundation. That might clear. Okay. Let's see what happens. Uh, wait. Now it's not moving at all. Uh, unpowered. Oh, <laughs> our generator got messed up. Uh, okay, let's grab October Sky. Yeah, because the generator was sitting on the foundation. You coming? Oh, forget it. Let's just do that. Okay. I just want to see if this will get it to go flush, and if it will, then we can figure out the the foundation issue. 
some other way. Um, so let's just stick... Let's just stick you right here. I don't really care where you are at the moment. I just want to... We're just testing right now. Where... What happened to all your fuel? Okay. Okay. Yes. Well, mostly. <laughs> but we could we could work with this. We could work with this. Um, you know, we could maybe put some kind of like little ramp or something in there. If we did the ramp idea, though, would that mess up the elevator? Ramps on here. This might screw it up. I don't know. Yeah, see, it's not... I can't control it now. It does not like to be... Clipped. Yeah, okay. Well, let me work on it some more. See if I can figure this out. Alright, what we're going to try here is... I have a wall all the way down and I'm going to see if we can put a foundation down here that would support the bridge going further without having to do a pillar. Um, and it looks like it won't go any further. It like wants to be right in the center of this wall. Whether or not that will actually help, I'm not sure let's just try it though all right now will you let me connect to the end of nope you won't you're just going to be a pain in the ass no matter how we slice this <sighs> all right i see no other way around this other than to just run another pillar down like i had it before all right let's pick this thing back up I made 10, and we're going to have to fly up on the bird to get the first one, a couple attached. It's just too high. I might run pillars on both sides for aesthetic reasons. Uh, oh. Oh, I kind of like that because it's centered. I didn't even, didn't even think about that. I accidentally did that because I couldn't see what I was doing. That's not so bad, actually, with it being centered like that. All right, let's go up now and see if we can... We should be able to ex extend the bridge further now. That's the theory, anyway. Okay, now... Aha, look at that. It's a beautiful thing. There we go. Just like that. Okay. Okay. You know what might be better here? Let me try something. Okay, now let's take and put these there. And then grab our ramps. A little jank, but I don't know. I, I I think it's less jank than the other way. Because I, I am... And the reason why this is important, in case you're wondering, is it is my intention to keep this platform as the... Um, as the... Uh, hatching and gestation platform. That's why I'm, I need to be able to move the animals back and forth. So, yeah. I like that. Alright. Now, and I think we're gonna 
do we want to make this a normal rail? And if we do, is it going to work? Nope. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's kind of what I thought. So that's going to have to stay the, the quarter panel then. We can't... We can't rail the other side because of the elevator. Uh, at least not these first three. We should be able to rail that. Um, and then, yeah, and do that. Okay. I don't think anybody's going to accidentally fall through there. This is... A little tricky but it's not gonna happen just from me walking I'd have to deliberately try and jump that gap to go over the edge okay here let me turn this um this trough uh, range thingy off and what are we thirsty all right let's go get something to drink and then it's just a matter of getting the elevator back in place which is not gonna be so simple to do we're going to have to do a little bit of eyeballing and guessing, but I'm sure we can make it work. Okay, I'll bring you guys back uh, once I, I get the elevator back in place. Well, look what just flew into the base. Uh, it's Unfortunately, it's a male, but still... I wouldn't mind taming that. That is a pretty bird. Oh, I keep forgetting we can hold down R. Um, you know what, though? I think my... Ooh, if I could get... Oh, yeah. If I could get him to come in here. Oh, ho, 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 guess who's trapped? Guess who's trapped? Pretty bird. A 135, too. I think everybody in here is on passive. Wow, I love the colors. I'm going to have to do some repairs on the walls later. That is the downside to using wood to build. You're getting a little bloody there. Let's see how you're doing. Yeah, you're getting close. You know what, though? I want to switch to darts. She should drop here, or he rather, should drop in just a second. Man, I wish she was a, or he was a she, because um, we need a female RG. But look at the colors on this bird. Oh, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And we should be able to just feed it mutton for perfect tame, too. In fact, I'm sure we, we could even feed it prime. Now, let me just double check that. Talk about a tame of opportunity. Of course, most of the tames in this game are tames of opportunity. You're a 135. You're going to take, yeah, six mutton will stand you up with no, no loss whatsoever, or seven prime in either case. But prime will take longer. So, yeah, I got lots of mutton now. We got sheep, so we might as well use it. Uh, and let, there's no point in using kibble because we don't need to. Cool. All right, let's go. I'm going to put a little more than six. I know I don't need to. In fact, it work, usually works the other way around um, on this server. It takes less than what Dota Deck says, but let's, let's, we'll just put a few more on just for the hell of it. What a gorgeous bird. Okay, anyway. Uh, I got the I got the elevator here and I think I'm gonna run with this um, just because it's it's a guessing game down below on the on where to put the height on this thing and 
this works. It's pretty well lined up, you know, this way. And it's close enough to where, you know, we don't have to worry about falling through the gap or anything like that. So, yeah, we're going to run with this. Now, there's one more thing I want to do. I don't think we need this little extension back out here now um, that we've changed, kind of changed things up. And if we pull it back, then we shouldn't need that there either. So let's fix um, wood thatch and fiber. Yeah, let's get this fixed. I've thought about building a third tree platform and using it as an actual trap. So um, I think we'll do that. Just why the hell not, right? And we can just drop animals in that we pick up, or in the case of RGs, we just fly them in through the door like we just did there, and voila. Uh, we don't need that much. Let's put that away, too. Okay, so we're going to uh, repair this, and then pick it up. Repair that. Repair that. All right now, pick up this stone ceiling here and this one here. And we might need to leave that in place. So I need to get some more stone quarter pieces. You know, there's not much point in actually having this here. Let's remove that. Now that I think about it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to... Do that. And that. Um, I don't know, I don't know if I can do anything about this. Oops. What would we do about that gap? If we made this into a triangle, that kind of works. It is going to give us a, a bit of a gap in the railing, though. Which we could probably deal with by doing that. I can't deliberately walk through there. Now let's just make sure the thylo can fit through. Oh yeah, we're beautiful. Now, the other thing I think I'm going to do too is I think I'm going to put rails where the elevator is. Um, Just because, you know, if the elevator's down, we don't have any rails there. And they're easy enough to pick up, so... What we can do is just assume that you look like your head's mounted in the wall. Uh, just assume that they're rails, you know, that fit like down in like little slots that you can lift up like a gate kind of idea when we're using them. And we'll pretend that that's what it is and call it good. Oh, I got to I got to pick that wall up. All right. Cool. So. I might also um, put some ramps on this other side just in case, you know, if it happened to be coming up from that side. But, uh, yeah, I think that's going to wrap things up here, guys. Um, what my plan is is to go out and continue looking for another Baryonyx and also uh, this is actually your spot right here. 
We need another... Oh, shit. What are the chickens called? My mind went blank. Therizino. We need, um, I think a female Therizino. So we gotta find one of those. We need to find another Baryonyx. And ultimately, we need to find another Max or very high-level Uteranus. I'm still kicking myself for losing that perfect tame we had, but, you know, I'm not really. I mean, I, I am kind of, but not like I'm losing sleep over anything like that. It just sucked, but, you know, it's one of those live and learn situations. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, what I'm doing. I'm, I'm probably going to be doing a good portion, if not most of that portion off the camera. Um, so it could be that we won't start the next episode until we're ready to do our first cave. Um, but, you know, we'll see what happens. I know that looks a little jank, but it, it's just, that, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> uh, so with that being said, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this little building episode that we did. And uh, we will catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.